In this video, I'm gonna show you another t-shirt design that sells. I'm gonna teach you how to create a t-shirt like this in Affinity Designer, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to do it. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. My channel is all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you wanna learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here. So in this video, I wanna teach you how to design a t-shirt and more specifically, this t-shirt right here. And the reason why I picked that t-shirt is we were on vacation recently and on vacation, we were next to, we were close to this ABC store in Hawaii. And this is a store that has lots of trinkets, lots of different things that you can buy about Hawaii. And they had a lot of different t-shirts in there. And of course I was gravitated towards the t-shirts and looked at all the different designs and I noticed on the street, people were wearing this t-shirt that was found on the ABC store and they were wearing it in the streets. I saw it more than a couple of times. So I thought I'd teach you how to design a t-shirt like this. I'm gonna show you online what it looks like. I'm gonna to go to the ABC store online and show you exactly the t-shirt that I'm talking about and show you other examples on Amazon and other places online that show you that it is selling right now. So it's something that sells. Not only did I see people wearing it, but you can see by the BSRs on Amazon that there are shirts like these that sell too. So I wanted to make sure to teach you how to do this design and I'm gonna do it all in Affinity Designer. I'm gonna show you step by step so you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end to see the final product. So let's go to the internet first and let me show you that shirt that I'm talking about. So here we are on the ABC store. For those of you that have visited Hawaii, you've probably seen ABC stores. It's just a tourist store where you can find lots of different things that you can bring back from Hawaii. You know, they got masks, they got t-shirts, they got all kinds of goodies, candy and things like that. So I'm gonna type in, you can go to apparel and you know look at the different t-shirts, um, but I know what the t-shirt was called. It had the word Aloha on it. So I'm gonna type in Aloha right here and retro t-shirt, right? And let's take a look, there's a bunch. And this is this is the one that I saw people wearing on the streets more than a couple of times. And so I thought, you know, I could show you how to make those t-shirts. I could show you how to make all these t-shirts, but let's just stick with one, this one. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here. You can see it's a script font. It has uh, lots of cool things about this. Let me see if I can zoom in. I think if you just scroll on it, yeah, there you go. So you can see it has a distressed look. It has an outline, right? And it has drop shadows, like three or four different drop shadows right here. It's a script font, so those work really well. So I'm gonna show you how to do one like this. I don't know this exact font, but it doesn't matter. As long as we have a nice thick script font, it's gonna work really well, you'll see. So I'm gonna show you on Amazon how other people have been doing it. So you can see right here, if I click on this one, uh, this kind of has the same multiple drop shadows, right? You can see this one's selling, it has a BSR. Um, let's see some other ones. There's another one where the multiple drop shadows, this one has an even lower BSR. So people are buying these, depending on what it says, right? People are gonna buy it. I couldn't find the Aloha one on here on Amazon, but you can see there's lots of different ways that you can do this. I also found this online. You can see almost exactly like the Aloha thing with this nice um, brush script right here. And this is a wash and worn deluxe pack by Spoon Graphics. I don't know if you guys follow him. I do awesome, awesome place to do some graphic design stuff, but I'm gonna use the wash and worn um, textures on here, which you can get um, from him. It's right here. I'm, I don't get any sponsorship from this, but I'm gonna use it. So this texture pack is $20. If you buy it from him, you don't have to use this one. You can use any other texture pack that you want, but because it kind of matches the style that we're going for anyway, I'm gonna use it. Um, I have one that looks kind of like this on my Detour shirt shop. You can see multiple drop shadows. So I've done this before and way back uh, on Instagram, I did this. I think this was a couple years ago. I made this post where I show you exactly how to do it if you wanna follow on Instagram, but I'm gonna show you in Affinity Designer how to do it. But here's the colors that I'm gonna use or I, you could use. Uh, you can use different colors as well. You can see how it looks like with different colors. So um, let's get into Affinity Designer and let me show you step by step so you can follow along. So here we are in Affinity Designer. I just opened it up and remember my presets. You might've seen that video. I made these presets for merch 
by Amazon t-shirt sizes. And it's gonna open up this size right here, which is the perfect size of 4,500 by 5,400 for Amazon shirts. And I'm gonna start typing in the word vintage. So you're gonna see right here, vintage. It's kind of small, so you can just grab the sides here and make it bigger, boom. All right, so I'm gonna change this font to a script font, a thick script font. You can use any thick script font, but I'm gonna use this one, uh, aerates script right here. And the reason I wanna use this one is, first, um, I, I love that it's nice, thick and thin lines. Second, I'm gonna be able to use a lot of these swashes that come with it. So let me make this a big capital V first. So you can see nice swash here. And that just gives it that little extra oomph, right? So this G, you can go into the glyphs palette and change it. Uh, and change it to one with a more swashy look. So I'm gonna scroll down here and look for my G. And let's see, use this G right here. That G kind of has that swash. And this T also can be something a little thicker. So let me find a T that I like. There, you can see a little more swashy, right? If that's a word. So I'm gonna use this right here and we're gonna start there. So first thing I'm gonna do is color it a light color. Uh, it can be white, it can be anything light, um, but I'm gonna make it, I'm just gonna pick a color here, kind of like a light yellow, just so I can see it still, kind of like that, you know? All right, just so we have it. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this to curves because I don't need the text anymore. So convert to curves, what that's gonna do is create uh, it as a path or an object. So if I double click on these, you can see they're all one object, right? They're points. I can manipulate the points if I need to and so on. So I'm gonna select all of these and not have it as a group. I'm gonna add them together. And you can see now it's just one thing, right? It's just one thing. And that's just gonna make it easy for me. So you wanna make sure you do that after you selected all your swashes and all of that, make sure that your text is something that you don't wanna change, and then you can change it to, to curves and change it to one solid object, right? So I don't need it to be in a group anymore, so I'm gonna ungroup this right here, press ungroup, and you can see the only thing I have on my artboard now is that word vintage, but it's an object. So now that I have this vintage uh, word, I'm gonna copy it, I'm just gonna hit Command J, and you can see it puts one on the top here. I'm gonna select the bottom one and hit this contour tool right here. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So you can see that's giving me my outline. So you can do it as big or as small as you want. I kinda of wanna eyeball it and do right there. That seems good. And I'm gonna make this color darker. So let's use that dark blue-ish color. It can be whatever. Yeah, kind of more of a dark blue right there, right? And if you need it to be bigger, you can come in here and select that again and just make it bigger if you want. So let's say we want it like that instead. That's good, right? So I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what we're doing. All right, um, nice big vintage. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna convert this to curves first, right? So now that's the outline. So you can see if I double click on there, that's the outline, okay? And then I'm gonna copy this bottom one, hit Command J again, it's on the copy, and I'm gonna move this down and to the right. So I'm holding Shift and hitting my down button, down, 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 right, 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 something like that. You can see that? So it kind of gives it that drop shadow look, right? So the next thing I wanna do is just add some color now. So let's do this again, Command J, and let's do the same thing, down three and to the right three. So hold down Shift, hit down, 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 right, right, right. And then if we change this color to something else, you'll see the difference here. Maybe make this one red, right? And you can make it even more pronounced, like I did three, but if you wanna do it even more, let's do uh, down, 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 right, right, right. Again, so that's six. You can see how that changes it a little bit, right? So I kinda like that 
just a little bit more. And let's see how it works with the other shadows. So we're gonna do this again, Command J, you're gonna get really good at this. This bottom one right here, let's say we make that yellow and let's do six. So hold Shift and then hit the down arrow six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and right one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's looking good. So let's just do one more, hit this bottom one, Command J, and use a different color here. I don't know, let's just do green. So six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding down Shift while pressing down is actually moving it 10 pixels down. So we moved it 60 pixels and 60 pixels, right? And you can change these colors, whatever colors you want. So if, if you don't like the green color and you want it to be, you know, maybe this cool blue or something like that, you can find different colors online, color palettes that you like or whatever it is. So, and I think one of the times I did red, white, and blue, that works too. So depending on your background color, right? So let's just say these are the colors that we picked. You can go find your colors that you want. So one of the things on the Aloha shirt that we did that we saw was that it was tilted, right? So you could just tilt it if you want, just give it that little tilt right there. Uh, but the other thing that we saw on the Aloha design was it had a distressed texture. So I'll show you how to do that real simple. So I'm gonna use some of those PNGs that I found with that washed and worn uh, texture set. And I'm gonna bring one of them in here and it's gonna be real easy to put that overlay or that texture on it. So let me get that right now. So here's the Wash and Worn Deluxe Textures that I downloaded for 20 bucks. And I'm gonna use this one right here, Wash and Worn number eight. So I'm just gonna drag it onto Affinity Designer right there and remove this. So you can see it's just that simple right there. And all you need to do is make sure you group all of these together. So let's click all of these and hit Command G. There, you can see it's in a group now. And all I need to do is take this wash and worn texture and turn it into erase. And take a look at that, what happened. So now it has that crackly vintage texture on it, which is really cool. And even if we have a background on it, so I'm gonna simulate a black background or gray background or whatever we want here. So here, and then put this in the back, all the way in the back here like that. And you can see Let's zoom in again, that nice vintage texture, right? And then you can go and still play with these colors. If you want it black, maybe you want this one white, this yellow one, instead of yellow, you want it white. You can still come in here and play with the, with the colors, right? Still looks pretty good. So if you want this vintage one white, now each of them are easy to change. Look at that, that looks really cool, right? So any word that you want in here, any color of drop shadows you can do here. Now that's a real simple way to do it. You can do some other things where you straighten up some of these right here, come in here and make these straight. I think that's what uh, they did. So you can see if I zoom in here, um, these aren't straight, but if I came in here now that there are paths, if I did this tool, I can come in here and kind of make these straight, right? And go in here and make, make it a little more straight. You can see what I'm doing here. So you can do that for each of the different ones just to kind of give more of an edge right there. Easy way to do it. So you can do it here, make all of these straight, all of these straight, all of these straight and so on if you want to get that detailed. So have fun with this one. That's a real easy way to do it. And then you can just put it on a t-shirt, export it. When you export it, get rid of this or at least hide it, right? And then you can come in here, hit Artboard, hit Export, which is Command Option Shift S right here, and Export PNG uh, Selection Only, Bilinear is fine, 4500 by 5400, and hit Export, and you'll have your PNG for your Merch by Amazon size, T-shirt size, as well as some other ones. So have fun with this, get creative with this. You can do multiple um, drop shadows, I did you know, three here, but you could go four, you could do any color, you can do any word. The longer the word, um, you know, it's gonna be a, just a little smaller. So the bigger the word, that's why Aloha worked really well, it only had five letters. So it's gonna be like this, so it takes up more space, right? So 
Uh, I would suggest if you're going to do this, do a shorter word rather than a longer word. But look for these um, these swashes. Those really make it, I think, make, gives it that nice vintage look. So look for uh, script fonts that have these swashes. Really cool and big, nice and thick. So have fun with this one. Uh, hopefully you like this tutorial. Um, it's not that hard to do once you know how to do it. And now you can do it with any word. You can scale this thing and have fun with it. So that is it for this tutorial. That's how you do this design. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you really liked it and learned how to do this design. Like I said, I saw this design all over Hawaii. Um, people walking on the streets with a design similar to this one, the Aloha one from the ABC store. So if this video was really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So before I finish this video, I wanted to ask you a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, what t-shirt shops do you look for for inspiration? I said I found mine at the ABC store in Hawaii, but there's lots of different places that you can look for t-shirts uh, in the wild, right? Like on Target, at the mall, at different places. Let me know in the comments if you uh, look for t-shirts in the wild and try and design those kinds of things. Uh, I would love to hear it where you see t-shirts or where you look for t-shirts uh, in the wild for sale and things like that. So, so thanks again for watching. And if you want to see more videos like these t-shirt videos, click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.